The National Center on Time and Learning was founded to help children, particularly those living in poverty, be better prepared for a successful future by closing the educational and opportunity gaps they inherit. Some of the country's most successful schools are improving the trajectory of their students' lives in large part by adding significant amounts of quality learning time. But the majority of high poverty students still attend schools that close their doors at two or three in the afternoon. We strive to provide more students learning opportunities that not only expand support in the core subjects, but also in areas like arts, music, physical education, robotics, apprenticeships, and more. The National Center on Time and Learning seeks to ensure that every high poverty student who could benefit from a high quality expanded learning time school has access to one. To do this, we work with policymakers at the federal, state, and local levels to provide schools with the flexibility and resources to expand learning time. We provide technical assistance to schools as they create, implement, and refine their expanded time schedule and improvement plan. Additionally, we create reports, videos, case studies, and tools that empower state, district, and school leaders to adopt new practices to maximize every minute. The National Center on Time and Learning raises private resources to leverage significant amounts of public funding that is available for schools to implement expanded learning opportunities across the United States. Our organization uses four approaches to close the achievement gap through expanded learning time, technical assistance, knowledge sharing, public policy, and advocacy. While there are peer organizations that open expanded time schools, we are the only nonprofit organization that has experience working with district public schools to redesign their schedules with expanded learning time. The National Center on Time and Learning combines high-level policy change with on-the-ground technical assistance to schools, creating scalable school redesign models that give thousands of students a stronger education. We've also studied the highest performing expanded time schools across the United States, sharing those best practices through our technical assistance and policy work. We also know that change is hard and often requires community support. So we help to empower local educators and community leaders with the information and data necessary to make the case for expanding learning time. Because our mission is to close the achievement gap, several of our metrics are centered on student outcomes. We work with schools that, on average, begin with less than half of students scoring proficient in math, English, or science. We strive for 80% of the schools receiving our technical assistance to outperform their district in performance or growth after two years with an expanded school calendar. The most common misunderstanding about the National Center on Time and Learning's mission is that we think more time automatically equals school success. But we know that more of the same won't work. The National Center on Time and Learning helps schools completely redesign their schedule to improve how all the time in school is spent. One of the key areas we focus on is helping schools use time to individualize supports for students, creating new, smaller classes with teachers that are expert in the subject areas where students are struggling. When we began in 2006 working with states and districts across the country, few people were talking about the need to expand the school calendar. Today, expanded learning time is an education reform priority for the President and Secretary of Education, governors, mayors, superintendents, principals, and teachers. And there are millions of new federal and state dollars available to support expanded learning time. 
The National Center on Time and Learning is also proud to have its research referenced regularly in federal guidelines and congressional proposals. Economic conditions impact the willingness of some leaders to explore redesigning and expanding school time. Ten years ago, the National Center on Time and Learning worked with schools that used mostly state and local funds to expand and improve their school day. Now, more schools are using federal funding to implement this reform. Our efforts to find sustainable strategies for schools to expand, approaches that will work in any budget climate, is crucial. While expanding the school day is a relatively new idea, it is essential to accelerating progress on important reforms such as teacher quality, implementing the Common Core state standards in math and literacy, and the next generation science standards. With additional resources, the National Center on Time and Learning would grow its technical assistance staff to respond to the growing demand from districts and schools to provide planning and implementation coaching support. We would also invest in outside expertise to build our knowledge in cost-efficient models and educational technology, critical areas of study to ensure the sustainability of expanded time schools. Recently, 21 school time-related laws were introduced across 16 states, and the number continues to grow. While we have a federal policy office in Washington, D.C., we do not have the capacity to track, advocate, and advise state policy leaders to ensure large-scale student impact. Given the interest at the school level, there is also the demand for us to create a learning community open to school leaders nationwide that would offer webinars, school visits, resource sharing, and peer-to-peer -peer learning. 